Yo, what's up guys, it's Sexfreeze. Now, for you guys that don't know, today there was a video that was uploaded by Call of Duty that teased, first of all, the single-player story, and then towards the end of the video, they had a five-second clip teasing the multiplayer reveal. You guys saw it at the beginning. I'm going to give you guys a full in-depth breakdown of a ton of stuff that was within those five seconds. It was a, a crap load of stuff, and a lot of stuff that you guys are going to see in this video you won't find anywhere else. I went frame by frame, found a ton of stuff for you guys. And we're gonna go into that. Before I do that though guys, if you guys want to check out the actual single player trailer, I'll link it down below. You guys can check out the full thing. It's actually pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Now also, before I jump into the video, from the quick teaser at the end, they said that the official reveal for the multiplayer will be August 11th. So I was off by one day. Apparently they're doing it on Monday, which they never do. It's always on a Tuesday. But August 11th, look forward to the Call of Duty channel. They're gonna have the official multiplayer reveal then. But for now, let's jump straight into the breakdown for this five second clip. Now, I went through and I edited every single image that I did save for you guys to see, so you guys know what I'm talking about, and I'm not just, you know, referring to some random thing on the screen that you don't you don't even know what I'm talking about. So, with that being said, first of all, the first two images you guys are going to see, and I'm using images because if I use the trailer, I'll probably get some kind of content ID or something, so let's avoid that whole thing. You guys saw right in the beginning of the five second clip that first you see a super boost, and then the second thing that you see is the Excel slide, is what they're officially referring to it to. You can draw two more things from this. First of all, you're gonna be able to customize your Excel suit. As you can see, uh, the red kind of different color you can have on it. There's a pre-order bonus where you can also get like a gold type Excel suit. So you're gonna be able to customize your Excel suit. The next thing that I'm gonna say that you can probably derive from this or you can take from this clip is that theater mode might be returning because of the different angles that we saw. So we saw one from the front, and we saw one from like the side. So theater mode might be coming back. Not confirmed, it's just something you can probably take out of this first clip. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is just a small little Easter egg type thing that you see in the video. I don't know if a lot of you guys saw it, but I'll have it on screen, you guys can see it. There's like a little weird face on one of the rocks. Now the next thing we have now actually doing a breakdown of it, you're gonna see on the bottom right side, two little icons that show off your EXO ability, so in this case, uh, I'm not really sure what it shows off, but it, it's probably gonna be the EXO boost in the slide. As you can see, there's like a little bit of a power bar or something to it. I'm assuming that the way it's gonna work is you use it up just like you use it up in single player, and then it takes a little while for it to recharge, just so it's not overpowered and going everywhere. So, now the next thing we're gonna talk about is to the right of that, you're gonna see like the kill streaks or score streaks. They're actually score streaks, and I'll talk about that a little bit more when I have a little more proof for you guys to see in some of the screenshots, but for now you see like a drone, and the one below it seems like a UAV type one. We'll see what it is, but you know, confirmation of kill streaks or score streaks. I thought it was a little weird that there's only two. Maybe it's a pick like a pick 10 system where you can choose an exo ability plus kill streaks or something like that. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm assuming that uh, it might be that way because we've never had where it's only two kill streaks you can use or maybe only two are visible since they're so big. Well, I don't know, but you know, I thought it was kind of interesting and I throw it out there for you guys. So moving on to the next thing you guys are gonna see, even though this is not a big thing. First of all, team deathmatch confirmed and also the scoreboard type thing will be on the bottom. It's a lot bigger than in other previous Call of Duty. So just wanted to give that one out. Moving on to the next screenshot, we have the official kill feed uh, is going to be to the right. A lot of people were mad that Call of Duty Ghost had it on the top right. Uh, you know, kill feed right there, so I just want to show that. There's a lot of different guns being shown off, but you can't really take anything from there when, you know, it's just little icons, little white icons of what they're going to be. So, moving on to the next one. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, there's going to be nothing on that top right corner, so people who live stream and have face cams is going to be perfect. Nothing in the way getting there. You know, your kills and deaths and stuff like in Ghost, nothing's going to be there perfectly open for streamers, which is a really smart move by the people at Sledgehammer. So the next image that I have for you guys, I highlighted the mini-map for you guys to check out. When you do take shots, it gives you like a red outline around your body, so I don't know if this is just something that you can see or if it's something where you're, say you uh, shoot something and then the enemy team, instead of seeing red dots, they'll see like a red triangle. Who knows what this possibly means, but I thought it was pretty interesting that there's a red outline around your arrow when you do shoot. Now the next clip that I want to show you guys is a few seconds into it after he gets the kill. A metal pops up on screen. This is very similar to Black Ops 2, so they're taking a lot of things from Black Ops 2. We got the medals, we got the score streaks, and one of the things that this could possibly mean, and it, again, it could be completely wrong, this is just pure speculation from this, is since they're using medals, maybe there's not going to be a Moab or a Chem Strike or a Nuke, since we saw in Black Ops 2, instead of having that, they just had a nuclear medal. So Sledgehammer did work on Modern Warfare 3, so they do know how many people enjoy the Moabs and stuff. But who knows? They're taking a lot from Black Ops 2, so maybe there won't be a nuke. Maybe there will. Not really sure, but I wanted to kind of toss that out for you guys. 
Let me know some comments down below what do you think. Now the next clip I want to show you guys is, I thought it was pretty interesting, if you look at the kill feed to the left, as you can see it's blue, so it looks like you're going to be able to give yourself like custom, you know, names or something like different colors on your gamer tag or stuff while you're playing, so, but let's move on to the next screenshot you guys can probably tell here on the right side I wanted to show you guys to confirm that this is a score streak not a kill streak if you guys probably can't see make this full screen but as you guys can see on the right side it says 700 and then right when he actually gets the kill as you guys are gonna see in the next clip right here 600 and 500 so it was 700 600 before now it's 600 and 500 so they both go down by a hundred points which is how many points he gets for actually getting the kill so confirmation of course this is going to be a score streak not a kill streak so for you guys that were wondering if it's a kill streak score streak there's a confirmation for you guys and i have one more a couple more clips for you guys to see so first of all we saw a little bit of levolution type thing or you know map interactive where after he gets the kill you see the tsunami kind of come in and you know kind of brush off that area over there so there's going to be at least some kind of map changing events going on throughout the map We'll see what happens, but I thought it was pretty cool that they're adding these different elements to it as well. Some people might be annoyed by it, but honestly, at the end of the day, I think it kind of adds a little bit more to the map. Changes it up a little bit. Alright, so the next two little clips that I want to show you guys is, first of all, I'm highlighting the mini-map for you guys to see this. So, when he actually gets some shot on point, or this guy that he's like floating in the air, as you guys can tell, on the mini-map, and I'll make it bigger for you guys to see, there's like a little white arrow just above it, like just as he got the kill. And if you look at it in the actual five second clip, when he's not shooting at him, so every time he gets a hit marker, it kind of highlights and does a little white arrow, but when he's not getting any shots in at him or in between rounds, uh, it, it disappears. So does this mean that when you shoot someone, it'll appear on the map for yourself so you can see where they're at? Is it like uh, one of the perks that was in Modern Warfare 3? It was just something I wanted to show you guys since I thought it was pretty interesting. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think it's a perk? Do you guys think it's just something that's within the game to add more strategy? Uh, but anyways, guys, that was a huge breakdown of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer teaser. I wanted to get you guys the full breakdown, full details for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video. Get it out there. Have more people see this stuff. And uh, also, if you guys are new and you guys enjoy this kind of content and you guys want more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news down the line, then make sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss a single video, guys. But anyways, until next time, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And make sure to out. Peace.